This is a digital logics question based upon combinational circuit. We have been given a circuit, four circuits actually, and from that we need to determine which of them is correctly implementing the given function f. It is having three variables x, y, and z, and it is denoted using these min terms. So let us first check out what is the function we are actually looking for, and then we shall look at the options that which of them can implement that correctly. So this is a function of three variables. So we can evaluate it using this k map. Let us put the variables x and y over here. Here goes z, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. Now the first min term is m0. For that, this will be the corresponding cell. We'll be putting it 1. Next comes m1. So it will be 0, 0, 1. So the corresponding cell is this. For m3, it will be 0, 1, 1, this cell. m4, 1, 0, 0. M5 101 and M6 110. So these are all the cells we have filled up using the min terms. Now it is evaluated. We can combine these four as a size four min term. Then these two ones cannot be combined uh, among themselves. So we'll just make two terms like this. And when we go on to evaluate this, it will become for the size four, we will be getting y bar. Plus, now this min term is going to give us x, z bar, and then this one is giving us x bar, z. So, this is the expression we are looking for. So, now we have to check all the multiplexers and see which of them can give us this output. So, now for this, we need to know how to evaluate the output of a 4 cross 1 multiplexer. If we have a marks like this, S0 and S1 are the signal bits, and let us say P, Q, R, S are its inputs. Then how do we evaluate it? It is done as S0 bar S1 bar P plus S0 bar S1 Q plus S0 S1 bar R plus S0 S1 S. This is how we evaluate a 4 cross 1 multiplexes, which means we are taking all the combinations of S0 and S1, just the way we fill the truth table. And along with that, each of these four inputs are uh, Ended. So now let us evaluate the given options and check which of them can give us the same result. Now looking at the option A, its signal bits are Y and Z. So the output will be evaluated as Y bar Z bar, the first input which is 1 plus Y, Y bar Z, second input which is 1 again plus y z bar the third input which is x plus y z and the last input which is x bar let us simplify this it is y bar z bar plus y bar z plus x y z bar plus x bar y z now we can combine these first two terms together after taking y bar as common this z bar and z will add up to one so there is no need to write that plus now from the last two terms we can take y common and that becomes x z bar plus x bar z now we can again apply distributive property over this because this is y bar and y so after applying the property it will actually become y bar plus y y bar plus the remaining bracket x z bar plus x bar z now this y bar plus y will again give us one. So what we are left with y bar plus x z bar plus x bar z. And this is what we wanted as the output. So this first option is correctly implementing the required expression. We can also check for the other three options, but this is a MCQ type question. There is only one answer correct. So we will be going with option A because it is correctly implementing the given function. So A is the correct answer.